Apparently, Jeffree Star knows something about Britney and Kanye West disappearance. I was curious why I ain't heard nothing about Kanye West in a minute now. So let's hear from Jeffree Star's perspective. Yeah, I want to know what's going on. I did not expect to talk about Jeffree Star, but he claims he has information about Britney Spears, Kanye West, the Hollywood elites, and people are questioning what he has to say. Let's go through all of his tweets together. So he starts off by writing, What a crazy effing year. I escaped the Illuminati in 2021, and they still haven't unalived me every day i wake up grateful a lot of people are wondering why is he tweeting this now and if you were scared of them then are you not scared anymore i mean wouldn't they go after you even harder if you're speaking about this elite group so then someone replies to his tweet and writes the elites are real kanye is in hiding because they are still trying to get him for exposing a lot of stuff Blood sacrifices are real. Stay safe. Jeffrey writes, you have no idea what you're talking about. It's ten times worse than you can ever imagine. Just be thankful you're on the other side. This person's talking about, like, blood sacrifices and things like that, and he claims that it's ten times worse. So what does he know that the elites know and Hollywood knows, but the public doesn't? Well, it looks like in 2020, he was going to expose everything. In a matter of days, the Hollywood elite tried to ruin my career villainized me and flooded the news with lies to discredit me if you guys only knew the truth about what they are doing to Britney and Kanye which if you're not in the group then like what would you like how would you really know what's going on with them but I mean this is a scary tweet like what's even scarier is that Jeffrey claims that anyone who challenges the system they become eliminated which is kind of like a, a theme that we've seen in Hollywood where people who do speak out they're gone. They're unalived. It reminds me of Isaac Cappy. I just made a video about him coming out very soon. And here's the last tweet from Jeffrey. I still have a soul. Can't say that about a lot of these demons I used to surround myself with. So that's why Jeffrey Star left the limelight because he has smart business tactics. This dude makes over two, what well, did back in like two years ago, 250 million he grossed in two years off of his, uh, his line. I believe Rihanna did the same thing. But my point is, like, don't get wrapped up in the fear behind it, yo. It's all about tactics to put you in, like, an unease vibration. That's what this is all about. Because when you put out, like, a positive, like, you know, like a positive message, something that's, like, inspirational, I notice it raises the collective, uh, what's it called? The collective awareness. It, it awakens them because... It's like a higher vi uh, vibratory that's immense and towards the public, right? So that's why you have to put out drama. You have to put out a lot of like unalive stuff to keep that from rising too high. Because if it rises too high, it's going to overflow too rapidly. So I noticed it down to like a T. Pay close detail. So the thing is, people like Jeffree Star, they were actually bringing con like comedic jokes in you know, inspirational business to the people for real. Like I'm being real, like the way they will handle things and they'll explain it in a nonchalant way. It made anyone feel like they can occur the same. But the thing is that they don't want you to think on that mindset because there will be no workers. So I feel like, man, I feel like they sent them some messages. Uh, you know, they ain't gonna kill them because they gay, but they sent them some messages like, hey, you better stop motivating people. You better, and then I'm telling you, yo. So that's why they start bringing back the blackface video. Like, who gives a shit? Everyone blackface. Don't give a shit about us. Like, come on, they step on us, kill it. Man, come on, who gives a shit about it? Like, now you wanna hate on the gay dude for blackface and us? That's what they do. They, like, that's. All of them. So come on, man. And then you gotta, if you're gonna hold him accountable, you gotta hold the rest of him accountable too. We don't care no more. Niggas, we don't, we don't. man, we build up enough toughness to where, nigga, we get stepped on, rode on, shot on, and we don't, man, we just get back up, nigga. We bulletproof beyond. Not to say, you know, others is, not, I'm just saying, like, you get kicked on so much, you're like, man, just, we all right, we all right. You know what I'm saying? We get hit by a couple four F4 150s, man. We all right, we all right. <laughs> That happens every day. Shit, I can't even walk down the road without getting hoinked and ran over by the street. I'm like, ah, I'm like, oh shit, we all right, we all right. You know what I'm saying? Glad that you know what I'm saying. My point is, why you gotta hate on my man Shane and Jeffrey Star? They're out here making real money and motivating people, man. You know what I'm saying? Money over all business, bag, bag, bag. You feel me?
That's all I was saying, yo. They did it in a great way because they made it like simple. The form was very simplistic. So I used to go back and pick up pointer tips, especially when I was, man, eight videos here, two videos on this channel. And you wonder where you get that because that kind of vibration is contagious, yo. You got to be around those kind of high vibratory people. That's why mentors is very important. If you can't find a mentor physically, you need to go online and find a mentor. A mentor is always, always an asset. It's, it's not even... It's a necessity, all right, y'all. At this point, it's a necessity. If you if you reach or you seek towards a certain goal, a, a mentor should be on the list. You feel me? If it's not physical, you need to go find one online. If you don't have courses, you don't got books. See, some people use books as a mentor. You feel me? Some people use uh shit. Uh, they mama as a mentor. You know, just the stories is. No, I'm just. No, I'm not. But you know what I mean. The thing is, you have to be in that vibration because you have to be able to stay being like. Be able to keep yourself constantly in the vibration of back. Because the moment you take yourself out is the moment you get lost down a different path and I'm sure you don't want to go. That's all I'm saying, yo. So pay attention, yo. So they know, they know because they were in the mix of it, yo. That's why I'm saying, yo, if anything, he don't he he not in it. Jeffree Star is not in it. So, you know, if you're gonna listen to somebody, listen to somebody that's not really, you know what I'm saying, indulge or or nothing to benefit from it. But yo, we about to hear from Kanye West's perspective. To medicate me, they I was exhausted, they wrongly diagnosed me, and they, they, they when I asked them, how much lithium did you wanna put me on exactly? It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount, right? And I refused to take this, right? You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here and it would have been, woe is, he was deeply troubled, we miss him, we love his music though. Well, they would have Britney Spears too. I mean, look at they, they would have Michael Jackson or, or worse. Yo, let me get off here, yo. So I'm saying, yo. So remember that. I don't even know. I'm out.